Good morning, it is Tuesday, March 9th, and this morning, first thing, I'll be finishing up vaudeville. I got them sharpened uh, preliminarily on Saturday, so what I'm going to do now is just, I'm going to stone them, we'll take photos, and I'll get those packaged and sent out. Um, so they are half an hour away from being done. Uh, after that, I have a couple more invoices to, to send out, and then I will be down and working on some custom knives. Um, so really, that's it for me today. Um, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna step in here and talk to Nico a little bit. We got some brand new Benchmades, never before in this shop. Uh, super stoked by these. What do we have, Nico? Yeah, we got the Mini Adamas. And and the two variants that they've released so far, which is the all black and the uh, sort of desert warrior look. That is a great looking knife. Uh, they changed some things going down from the full size to the mini that I really like. A, it's much lighter than the full size, not just because it's smaller. I believe the full size Adonimus is a different handle material and it's just really heavy. Um, they also have a really nice big uh, thumb stud on them and this access lock sits a little bit more proud, I believe, so you can get at it with gloves. Um, but just a great job. I, I especially like that color, obviously. It's the one I picked up. And so these are CPM Crew Wear. Uh, Come standard with a deep carry pocket clip. Uh, absolute great design. We're stoked. Yeah, looks really cool. Alrighty, that's it for us today. See you tomorrow. Good morning, it's Wednesday, March 10th. Already a bit of a crazy day, so I'm just gonna kind of run through everybody's stuff today. Um, I had a little extra time and I got ahead on my deadline, so I get to make some stuff for stock. So I'm gonna make two little neck knives, um, a couple more boning knives because we seem to sell them, and we don't have a handmade cleaver in stock, so I had started this one when I started uh, one of the custom ones. So I'll get that. And then Nico has asked for chef's knives. So we have Nakiris, we have Santokus, we have Rocking Santokus, we even have a, uh, a gaucho that I'm gonna do a chef's knife grind on, well, because I can. Um, so I'm gonna be working on that stuff. I got all the vaudeville stuff done and shipped out. So yes, I'm gonna start more of those, but I'm gonna get some stuff for stock done in the interim. Um, while I'm doing that, Cal has been working on some slicers. Um, so this is a bit of a redesign from an old slicer I'd started Oh, at least four years ago. Uh, likewise is this one. He's just kind of made it more, more, a little bit more him. And so he'll be doing grind lines on, on those two today. Um, in addition to, we have a couple axe refurb projects in. So this is for a regular customer of ours, literally made in the US axe. Um, they found it at someone's farm and he's like, well, hey, I can, you can clean that up and have a good chopper. So we are rehydrating the, the hickory handle. It was all uh, it's starting to crack and peel a little bit, um, so we've been hydrating it, uh, getting moisture back in there, and then we're, we've cleaned all the rust off of that, so Cal sandblasted it, and now we're in the process of buffing it, just getting as much of the rust off as possible. Um, and then this one is in a similar stage. This is pre-buffing, so this is sandblasted, and maybe they've buffed it a little bit. Um, and this is another made in the U.S. I believe this is a council tool. Uh, you can see I know that from axe throwing. Um, but great American-made axes um, that we're just bringing back to life so they can they can have another life and, and serve their owners well. So that's our day. Oh, and Nico. In Nico's world, we got three mini Crooked Rivers in stock last night right before we closed. So he'll get those in stock and on the website again. And so we have mini Crooked Rivers in stock as of now. Um, I'm sure we, we, yeah, we showed you the mini Adamas yesterday and then we'll be getting another package of Benchmade tomorrow and I believe a, another one next week. So the case is filling up. It's looking great. Come check it out. I'll see everybody tomorrow. Good morning. It's Thursday, March 11th and I got a little ahead on my customs. So I'm working on some knives for stock. Um, very exciting. So I've asked Nico like what we need in the showroom. So most of what I'm working on is chef-ish knife related. So a couple Santokus, I have one cleaver, and then I have a second batch. So this is stuff that is all ready to stamp. Um, a couple bony knives, I've already done grind lines on them. Uh, these are all ready to stamp. And now I have a second little mini batch 
that will be mostly Hanasukis and another other couple uh, chef's knives. So I'm gonna get as much work done on those today as I can, getting ready for heat treat when I get back. Um, so I'm here this week, and then I'll be gone all next week, um, going up to Seattle. And when I get back um, at some point in, during that week, we'll do another heat treat, and that'll be a, a fairly large heat treat for mostly for stock knives at that point, because I'm doing Daniels and a couple for Cal. Um, tomorrow or Saturday before I leave. That way they can have those while I'm gone. Okay, in other words, Cal's here with a little project he had. Good morning. So I got to clean up this Oh, This is uh, somebody's great-grandpa's axe. And I took the head off, sandblasted it, polished it up, and then made a wedge and put the head back on. And I've been oiling the handle every day for about a week now. So you it's can, a pretty cool piece. Yeah, the grain's tightening up. The, these cracks were a lot bigger before. Um, really satisfying to work on something this old and make it look nice. Awesome. Uh, and then Daniel has a little project he's working on. Um, Daniel. Uh, basically, I've got a Nikiri. I've been uh, re-getting re into heat treat. So I've got it ground down pretty thin. I'll be getting the rest of it done today, stamping it ready for heat treat. Hopefully getting to this customer a, a little uh, sooner than, than, than later. Uh, a little behind on this one, but he's very understanding, and we're going to get it done right, so I will be working on that mainly today. Thanks, guys. Awesome. See you everyone tomorrow. Good morning. It is Friday, March the 12th, and what I will be doing today is getting some more knives ready for heat treat. So I have an entire set of our vintage set um ready for grinding i still need to do the the big hole up here on this one but otherwise that's ready and the slicer i'm going to be doing a set of it and minus the boning knife cal's going to be doing a set as well um his this one has more of an old-fashioned handle i went a little progressive with the, the the vintage handle on that but hey it's what we do right and then i'm getting four more kitchen knives in as well so um, my batch was at 25 and now it's up to 32 and then I have these eight so it'll be an even 40 um, which is a cool number I'm not gonna go any bigger than that for the heat treat when we get back uh, unless I decide to do more of course uh, and Cal's gonna give us an update on what he's doing hey good morning so still uh, moisturizing this wooden handle on this old axe it's looking better and better every day and I'm gonna sharpen it up this thing has been awesome to work on, and I'm about to start profiling a new throwing axe. It's a plum, and we want to preserve that plum sticker. It makes it a, uh, our plum stamp makes it a lot more valuable and just cool. This handle's awesome, and I've been grinding up some knives ready for heat treat. I've got about five of them, and uh, I've been working on a lot of refurbs lately. Haven't had much time on the grinder, but. Uh, this is my big comeback. This has been awesome to work on. I'm excited about that. And that's really all I got going on today is axes and grinding. So Axes and grinding. And then Daniel's going to walk us through some of his refurbs that he's working on. Oh, I'm supposed to walk to you. Okay, uh, cool. I'll come all the way over here. Got these guys. I'm going to be bringing down the hand sand and then do a couple product videos for you guys today. Awesome. Thank you, Daniel. And Nico doesn't have anything interesting going on today, so come in and bring something interesting for him to do. Uh, otherwise, he's going to be bored. We can't have Nico being bored. Have a good one. Good morning. This Saturday, March the 13th. And so what I will be doing today is mostly a heat treat. And in between the heat treat, I will be doing a mustard patina on these two little Deba-type knives. Um, they're something I started several years ago and I've basically just got tired of having them not finished and so I was working on them yesterday in between different products. Um, so I'm going to get these to where, where they're ready for handles and the, like I said the majority of my day will be spent doing the heat treat. Um, so that's my day. Cal has other things going on. Good morning. I'm working on a vintage series. These are some of my favorite shapes and styles of knives. And they're based off of knives that have passed through the shop that are actually from the 1800s and early 1900s. Uh, and I'm also doing some post heat treat grind lines on uh, 
This is somebody else's project. It was a little warped, so it got set aside, but I saw some potential in it, and I'm going to make something really good out of this. And that's that's what I got going on on Saturday. So. Excellent. And Daniel has a cool refurb he's working on. Uh, he just got pulled away for a second, so... It, so he'll tell you about that on Tuesday. Have a great weekend, everybody. We'll see you next time. Daniel, surprising you with a little update. Sorry, I was busy with a customer. They were waiting on, on a uh, sharpening. But I'm just popping in. This is the end of the day for us, uh, end of the week for us. I'm working on this guy right here. Uh, I've got these brass bolster and pommel to peen, shape, and clean up, or kind of clean up, shape, and peen first. And then I will go ahead and get my rosewood for it in here. Uh, that's going to be the majority of my day, guys. I appreciate you watching. We will see you next week.